What is going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome back to a PPL video that I'm a little upset that I had to make. Um, I did make a transfer, not this week, but the week before. I actually made a transfer, so it was not active until week 7. And this transfer, it's actually really hard for me to make because I'm, I'm dropping two mons that I really enjoy using in Raikou and Togetic, two very key members to my team. One gives me a fairy typing along with hazard removal, uh, along with thunder wave support for rain, which is really awesome. It also gives me really good uh, cleric support. Uh, and another one gives me really fast volt switch. A fast electro type in general is just really awesome. Now, let me go into exactly why I had to drop these two mons specifically. First off, I need a dark type. Um, more than anything, I think my team needs a dark type. I think my team needs a dark type more, uh, more than it needs a fast electro type and a fairy type combined. So, I needed to do whatever it took really to get a dark type, and I wanted a good one. The problem is, the vast majority of dark types are taken. Sneasel. Weavile, faced them both already. So a lot of the really good, fast dark types were taken. So I needed to remedy that. Not only that, I wanted another electric immunity. So I needed to somehow take this electric type here and this fairy type here and create an electric immunity and a dark type. Now, that might not seem that difficult, but it's actually a very hard decision for me to make because it comes down to me sacrificing mons that are very important for the team for mons that I hope will end up fitting. So the first one that I knew I wanted right off the bat uh, was Electivire. Um, now what this does is this gives me my electric type back, gives me my electric immunity, gives me something that can benefit from electric type attacks by gate by boosting its speed it gives me something that can be a really good choice scarf mon it gives me a nice speed tier that i did not have in 95 i had nothing in the 90 base speed tier at all so it gives me something that's a little bit more important it also gives me really good mix support it gives me things uh, mons that have access to wild charge thunderbolt uh thunder flamethrower focus blast like it has so many awesome moves that i'm just I'm just like, okay, I have really good mixed potential. I can force my opponents to prepare for one or the other, and that's really, really cool. Also, it's really ac uh, cool access to moves like Earthquake, things of that nature. The big one, though, Volt Switch. Still gives me my fast electric type. This one doesn't have Volt Switch and U-Turn, unfortunately. Like, I like electric types to have, like, for example, Heliolisk and Zapdos. Um, since they both get U-Turn and Volt Switch, I would prefer to have either one of those. But both of them were already taken, and neither one of them are immune to electric as Electivire is. Now, this gave me about 13 mil to work with. And I needed a really good dark type. I wanted a fast one. I wanted one that has a very hard hitting knockoff, specifically knockoff. Reason being, uh, my knockoff users, as of right now, are Kabutops, which are reliant in the rain to be fast, uh, Mega Scizor, which already has really bad four move slot syndrome, and Torn T, which again has really bad four move slot syndrome. I believe that is it. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure those are my only three knockoff users. None of them are stabbed. None of them are super hard hitting with knockoff. I wanted a super duper strong knockoff. Something that can punish psychic types. Something that even if they run a Culverberry, I have a mon that can just absolutely nuke it no matter what. There weren't a whole lot of dark types left. And I'm a little upset to say that, but I was looking and... For Electivire to take Raikou's spot, I'm okay with that. It's it, When you look at these stats, they're not that bad. Decently bulky, good on both attack stats, decent speed. Compared to this, really not that much of a difference. There's a little bit of one, but not a whole, whole lot. I'm happy with it. So, I was hoping that there was a Dark Fairy type out there that I overlooked, but there there isn't one. So, uh, <laughs> so I ended up actually getting my favorite Dark type in... Zorork. This is huge. This gives me a lot. A speed tier that I did not yet have. Um, base 105. My closest thing to that is Celebi base 100, so I now have something to force uh, base like 
105s. I can speed tie with them. They cannot run any HP investment. Things like Latios now have to run less HP investment. Uh, there's just a lot of really good things that come from this speed tier. The biggest thing in general, well, that come with this speed tier. The biggest thing in general, though, is look at that. And then look at that. Super, super hard hitting knockoffs, super hard hitting dark pulses, super hard hitting U turns. And this thing even has really cool coverage like low kick. It has really cool coverage like uh, psych. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has psychic. It might just have extra sensory, but it still has a really cool psychic coverage. Uh, Flamethrower is always nice. Foul play to uh, stop SD setups from a lot of things, which is always cool. It also has Grass Nut, Mixed Setup stuff, Home Claws, Low Kick, Memento, Nasty Plot for really good setup. This thing gives me another setup mon in Nasty Plot and Sword Stance. So it, it's absolutely amazing. And what it does for the team is it offers a whole lot more. Now, I kind of wanted to go over why I'm okay with getting these two over losing an electro type and a fairy type the dragons that i face uh i actually kind of try to remember i face haxorus i face latios i face noivern and i face mega septile I'm trying to think I, th I feel like there's one more that i'm forgetting give me just one second Okay, so I face Haxorus, I face Noivern, I face Latios, I face Mega Septile, and I face Salamence. Those are all prime setup for Togetic. This is a fairy type, does not stop them. If I had something like Togekiss, that was a little bit faster, could be a little more offensive, hit a little bit harder, yes, it would stop it. Togetic is setup fodder for them. So for me to say, okay, I'm going to bring togetic to stop the dragons it would make me lose to said dragon and i dislike that i dislike that a lot so um i don't see me bringing it so i was like yeah it's gonna suck having to take on dragons however i'm okay with it i feel as though my roster of things that force a lot of prep like zerork prepping for a very hard hitting dart type like a zerork is important. Having to prep for base 105 knockoff, base 120 dark pulses is really important. Having to face for Electivire is really important with Volt Switch, needing to bring an electric immunity now to stop Volt Switches. Also to prep for Torn T, to prep for things like Mega Scizor. And on top of all of that, prep for the insane rain threats like Kingdra and Kabutops. And then on top of that, face uh, for things like Nido King. So it just, it really, really just puts a lot more pressure on team building. And I've now formed a very good hyper offensive team with this. I have two Volt Switch. Uh, I have a Volt Switcher and another U Turner that I'm gaining to where I would have had just one Volt Switcher in these two mons. That's really cool. I have two setup mons over here compared to one. However, this one I think has better setup. And uh, I'm ultimately extremely happy with this trade. I don't think I made a wrong choice. Uh, I was looking ahead though, and I was like, uh, <laughs> they don't really have the best matchups in my remaining game. However, they do make my team a little bit harder to prep for, and that's really important. So that makes me pretty happy. I just hope I get to use them at least once each, but they really don't have the best matchups. So I might have made a fast decision, but it is what it is. Zervork is my all-time favorite Pokemon. Like it's it's one of them. It's up there. It's one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. So I'm just happy that I get to use it again. So. But yeah, that's basically the transfer that I made. I talked for 10 minutes about this, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and end it there. So let me know what you guys think of the trade that I did. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, make sure you keep an eye out for this week's PPL video. We are going, we are going up against Sam, aka Fufu2. It is one of the most important games of the season, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.